Hi there. This is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss the position function in calculus. Now, there are some concepts presented in calculus that may seem abstract or as though they would have no application to the real world. For example, when you think about the derivative of a function or the rate of change, it's sometimes not apparent why knowing that function would be useful. The position function is interesting because the derivatives of the position function have very definite, clear meanings. So here we have p of t, position of some particle, with respect to time, the variable t. We have t to the fourth power plus seven. Now, the interesting thing about the position function is, well, we'll take the derivative of it and see. P prime of t, we get 4t cubed, 7 goes out. But what is the significance of this, besides the fact that it is the rate of change of our original function? Well, the first derivative of the position function is the velocity, which is a concept that most people would be intimately familiar with. But let's take the derivative again and see what we get. What if we do v prime of t, which is equal to the second derivative of p of t? 3 times 4 is 12. We get 12 squared. Does the rate of change of the velocity function have any special meaning? And the answer is yes. This is the acceleration of our original particle. You can even take this further if you want to go slightly more abstract. If we take the derivative of the acceleration function or the second derivative of our velocity function or the third derivative of our position function, we get 24 times t. This is a concept that doesn't often come up in physics, but it does have a name. This is known as the jerk of a particle. So, starting with a position function, you can learn a lot about the behavior of an object. You can easily find position, velocity, acceleration, and jerk, all just from the original function. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed the position function in calculus.